Welcome into another video in our continuing conversation on keeping haircutting simple. Haircutting is supposed to be simple. Haircutting is supposed to be fun. Let's not make it complicated. Let's not make it tricky. And while you're here, comment on the video. Let me know what you think. Like the video. It helps me a lot. Turn on your notifications and subscribe to the channel so you never miss a video. And if you know somebody in the beauty and barber business who could benefit from some of this conversation and education, well, share the video with them as well. Let's talk about vertical sides. Let's talk about a continuation of our conversation about rectilinear sculpture or square shapes or planar sculpting. In a previous video, we talked about horizontal tops. Now we want to talk about very, very vertical sides. In this case, we're not going to get down to clipper short. We're going to stay with hair that is uh, held in your fingers, that is uh, cut with a scissors for this shape or construction conversation. But what we're going to talk about now is at the sides of the head. At the top of the head, we talked about pulling hair straight up to create horizontal shapes. Now we're going to talk about pulling hair straight out, not from where it grows, 90, 90, 90, 90, and ending up with a rounded shape, but straight out in a vertical form. We're going to take a parting above the parietal ridge, the crest line, or the occipital area, and within this area of the head, and I'm very deliberately slightly off skew to the side here. We're going to take a vertical parting at the top of the ear. We're going to comb some of that hair forward. And if the hair needs a little bit of more hydration in it so that it stays in place, I think that helps. Also, if it helps you to cut it with product in the hair, I know I've got some videos on product in the hair. My Clipper Guy Classic Wax is my favorite product when putting product in the hair. And again, since we're using communal jars, we're going to use craft sticks or popsicle sticks to apply a small amount of product to our hand without putting our hands in a jar that is shared by others. We're going to apply that wax to our hands. We're going to emulsify it. We're going to warm it up in our hands. We're going to get it moving around a little bit and we're going to apply it to the hair. This is short hair. We don't need a whole lot of wax on the hair, but just enough product that the hair's got a little bit of tack. It's got a little bit of pliability. It's got a little bit of what we'll call compliance. It's willing to play along. We'll get cleaner sections and partings. Cleaner sections and partings will yield better, more precise hair cutting. So we'll just comb that through. We've got a little bit of that wax in the hair. And now you'll notice when I part, the hair stays parted cleaner. When I take a vertical section right here, as we had done, and I comb that vertical section forward and I lay it forward, it'll stay forward. So now what we're going to do, we're going to go back to our six and a half inch Cosmo Barbarology scissors. We're going to take a vertical parting about three eighths of an inch in width. We're going to comb it and we're going to hold it palm to palm. We call this palm to palm because my palms are facing each other when I go in to cut my open palm is facing the open palm of the opposite hand, but we're going to comb that hair straight out away from the head. Looking to see that hair is very horizontal. We don't want to shift it up. We don't want to shift it down. We want to draw it out straight away from the head and we want to cut straight down. We want to grab, hold, regrip and cut straight down. That's going to give me a very, very vertical shape to that hair. Now, I'm going to take a section in front of it. I'm going to leave out some of that hair. I'm going to take more hair and I'm going to pull this away straight away from where it grows, looking for the previously cut section at my fingers to serve as my guide, looking to see that the hair is coming straight out from the head. And now I'm going to move further forward. Every time I do that, I lose a little bit of the old section. I gain a little more. I come out straight. I look for my guide and I comb straight out and I cut straight down. Now, some people like to do this over the back of their fingers, but I'll caution you. The challenge with over the back of the fingers is we will have a tendency to round out into the head shape and palm to palm. When you comb it out palm to palm like this, it's very hard to round into the head shape biologically, physiologically, and biomechanically. You will be more likely to stay true to your straight out to the side positioning if you cut inside your fingers as opposed to on the back side of your fingers. Now, I have a lot of experience in practice with this. I can probably do it on the back side of my fingers with pretty consistent results, but I want to encourage you to build your skills and foundations from the bottom up. So we're going to come in. We're going to segregate the hair we don't need or want. Now I'm moving from that top of the ear 
towards the back of the head. Still, combing sections out. You should be able to see that guide. You should be able to see the longer hair that's not going to be cut. In order to maintain tension, I don't cut past the second knuckle. I take my next vertical parting. I segregate the hair I don't want from the hair I want. I draw this out straight away from the head. I look for my previously cut section and my fingers to serve as my guide. And I start to build a very, very vertical sidewall. And if I comb that out, you'll see the verticalness in that section through the side of the head. We talked about horizontal tops. Now we're talking about vertical sides. And in the next video, we're going to talk about tying those together. Thanks for being here for the Keep Haircutting Simple series. We'll see you again in the next video. Have a great day.